join the 28 hour SQL Server Masterclass on the Udemy platform for only $15 instead of $89. Learn how to become a future developer or either a future DBA or performance expert on SQL Server with 150 exercises. The link to the promotion is in the video description. Okay? Want to get started on SQL Server? Then join me! Okay, we have installed Management Studio, we have installed uh, SQL Server, now we are going to create our first database. Okay, we are going to do uh, it in two ways, one at the graphical level and one at the Transac SQL level. Okay? First, we are going to connect to the server and click on Okay, and put the name of the server which is here. So here, put the name of your server and click on connect here. Okay, connect. Um, for the moment, you can see that there is no database in the Notion database. Okay. Here, database, there is no still database. Okay? So come on, let's go, let's create a new database. Okay, so, okay, to create a new database, it's very simple. We click on, right click, and new database. And here we have the database name. Just the data name, data name, database, sorry, name, it's here, okay? So I'm going to put the name of my database in it. And I'm going to call it formation. Right click on the bottom right, on, okay. Click on okay. And at the top left, the database formations appears just here. Your first database has been created. You can see that it's very, very simple to set up. Understand? So we are going to create a second database in an SQL query. That is to say we are going to, we are going to write the creation of a database. So, I um, click on new query, just right here, and I will do, and we do create database, create with database, and I call it formation. I, after that, we press the execute button, just here, okay? So, execute the query. So now we do a refresh on the top left on the database, refresh, and I have the database formation does formation two sorry that appears here okay so in this exercise we have created a database in two graphical ways using management studio and with the script sql script by doing create database followed by the name of the database okay so let's go for the next demonstration.